If I don't do it, then it's because I've run out of fitness, not because everything out of my control hasn't gone well, so now I'm excited. What's the race plan, or how do you see things shaping up? It's like Josh Kirali for the headliners, they might take it right from the gun. What's your, what's your plan? I've been trying to watch a bunch of old Noro's races, but not focusing on the leaders, focusing on the back guys to see how they navigate, utilizing the front guys to run the, the appropriate pace judgment. But it seems like even if I'm near the back, I'm still going to be way ahead of schedule, and I don't want to drop off the, off the pack, so I'm just going to be willing to go as fast as 255 to the 1200, otherwise I might be on my own. So I'm just going to race it and make sure I aim to beat a few guys in the race, and the time should take care of so. itself. What's uh, what's the intel on Hobbs and, and his fitness for, for, for the race? Well, Ronnie predicted I'm anywhere from 356 to 358, and Hobbs has definitely been killing me in workouts, so if that's any indicator. All right, awesome. So what's, what's your favorite Milrose memory, I guess, like from every Wanamaker mile you've participated in here? Like, is there one that really sticks out to you, having come so close for the win multiple times? Yeah, taking the lead over Leggett with one and a half laps to go at the Madison Square Garden. I thought I had him at that point. It's hard to pass with tight bends, but um, I only had that lead for about 100 meters and then he went flying by me. But that moment that I had the lead was pretty special. Well, wishing you all the best of luck, Larnick, and uh, hopefully you get it in 20 years. Thanks, Chris.